So I'm gonna give all you new YouTubers a little tip. It is currently 1018 and my video is at 44% and it has to be out at 12. Guys, do not follow on my steps. Make sure you guys are editing your videos at night and rendering them that night so in the morning you guys don't have to worry about this. But what is up 614 crew? I will see all of you after the intro. What is up you beautiful people? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I just got my video done and it literally got posted with like three minutes to spare. It's right up here. If you guys haven't watched it, make sure you go and check it out. It's actually decent looking today, so I try to want to make it outside, but I do have work in about two hours, so I don't have much time, which kind of sucks, but I'm still gonna try to put out this video for you guys, try to make it a little interesting. I'm gonna already tell you that a lot of stuff is gonna be going down tomorrow. I think in tomorrow's part of the vlog, I'm gonna do a lot more research on the lemons for leukemia thing, and then I'm gonna nominate three of my friends to go ahead and do it with me. And if you guys do not know what the lemons for leukemia thing is, it's like the ALS ice bucket challenge but instead for leukemia, of course. And you know, I totally would do it today, but the only problem is we have no lemons in our fridge. And I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be absolutely hilarious. I hate super, super sour things. So it's gonna be kind of cringy, but really, really funny. I'm on my way to work now, but I wanted to go ahead and just thank you guys so much because on that last video, literally 10 minutes after it was published, I had two text messages from people that I don't think that I know. I don't have the number saved at least. And they were sending me transmissions to find out about the car because here in the next, I would say like two weeks, we're gonna be buying one. And you guys actually sent me a really good one that we're looking into. I think it's the, uh, 40 rw i'm pretty sure it's a four speed and it's a really really nice four speed i'll show you guys once i get home but just thank you guys all so much for just helping us with the build you guys are literally part of the build and i can't thank you guys enough that car is literally like the brandon dean 614 company car and i see us kind of building it as a community and if you are new to the channel, this is the car that I'm talking about. It's a 1967 Ford Galaxy 500. This is literally like the prize ship of the channel. Now, not too long ago, you guys might recall that I did go and take it to get sandblasted and everything like that, but I didn't show you guys too in depth of what it actually turned out to be like. So I'm gonna go through, and since today is rainy outside and there's not much to do outside and I've worked in about an hour and I don't have much content, I'm going to take you guys through the car, show you everything that has been done recently and where we kind of want to see it in the next couple of months. So let me start by taking these random freaking boxes that we don't need on there off. And then I will show you guys that we took it in to get sandblasted so you guys can tell this is all like the like gray and stuff like that. We're going to be painting this, but we basically did it because there was like a bunch of holes and you guys can see we went over and welded them up. So now it is all good. The firewall is completely restored. So yes, this is all looking a lot better already than what it was. Coming around to the inside, there is a bunch of random stuff placed all over the car. I do apologize for that. I didn't plan this out too much. But as you guys can tell on all floorboards, there are welding spots. All the floor pans in this car were completely destroyed. So we had to go through and buy completely new ones and weld those in. And while we're at it, let me go ahead and show you guys the trunk too. Now we did hide my dad's present back here. Thank God he does not watch my vlogs. But uh, for Father's Day, we did get him this. He does not know yet. And I don't know if you guys can see down there, but like the holes right there. And then on this side, I think it's even worse. Yeah, back there you can kind of see some stuff, but um, there's a bunch of holes still back here that we have yet to patch up, and then once we do that, the body will be good. I don't know if you guys can hear that outside, but it is downpouring so hard. I don't want to be out there right now. That's why I'm kind of going through and just giving you a little bit of an update on the car. The motor is still sitting over here behind the hood. As you guys can see, not much progress has been made on that. It's still on the stand. And then over here underneath the workbench, oh boy. I don't know how well the lighting's gonna show you guys, but the rear end is under there. It's just chilling out until we get the transmission and then the car will be finally ready to kind of put together, hopefully. The interior is of course out. It's just chilling over there until it's ready to go back in. But yeah, guys, that's just a little bit of an update. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some 
content for today. I know it wasn't the most fun thing, but that's just how it is when it comes to vlogging. You're gonna have your fun videos like Monday's video. I'm already telling you guys it's gonna be super fun. I have a bunch of days off this weekend. So make sure you guys check back in for Monday's video. But that is gonna be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you all after the weekend. Peace.